Welcome to day 357 of our DSO journey. I'm Ed Krasenstein here with my twin brother, Brian. And remember these videos are being sponsored by NFT Tech. They are an investor in CloudFeed. So yesterday there's quite a bit, bit of news. Uh, we have a few things to talk about. Uh, DSO announced something, a new hiring, Brian. Yeah, they hired a guy. Uh, his username is Sophonius, Sophonius. Um, He's joining the core team as a software engineer. So, so maybe with the absence of Maybeam, maybe they need somebody else uh, on the team working on software. Uh, it seems like he has quite a, quite a background. He previously worked at Facebook uh, in a position that helped reduce uh, user privacy risk across the entire code base. So it seems like uh, he's probably going to be a good fit. And um, so far, uh, what I've read on him, uh, it seems like that's going to be the case. Yeah, and he's been active on DSO for I, quite some time now. So he's a user. He's been a user. So it's not like he's brand new to the community. He wasn't super active, but he was active. So he's familiar with the community, familiar with how the platform works. Uh, right. Team DSO, they announced a new community member spotlight yesterday. It was a very well-deserving Meredith Marson. Uh, she's a contemporary figurative painter. From wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. It doesn't make a sound. Okay. Congrats, Meredith. Uh, she's also the artist behind the Medicines and Medicines NFT and the co-founder of Medicines DAO, which I think has the potential to be one of the first DAOs on DAO DAO if she chooses to go in that direction, which I think she is. Uh, she's an original OG of DSO. She's been here for quite some time. has been super involved in the community, very helpful in the community, amazing within the community. Just want to say congratulations to Meredith Marson. You definitely deserve this. And, you know, I think, I think she's a big reason why a lot of NFT artists, a lot of NFT collectors have been on DSO and buying NFTs. Yeah, and we've been trying to get her on our show for months, but uh, she lives in New Zealand. And the time differences, it's difficult because we film these in the morning here and it's late at night over there. So uh, what she's doing for DSO is great. Um, she's actually producing NFTs on several chains and then kind of linking them up. So uh, it's definitely someone who could potentially bring a lot of non-DSO people onto DSO. So she's, she got this well-deserved recognition for sure. Yeah, so the money is flowing, Brian. Yeah, so there had been some talk. There's a lot of, uh, I guess, disappointment by some of the Octane Fund uh, grant recipients uh, who are waiting for their second tranche of funds from the Octane Fund and from the DSO Foundation. Uh, but we got word that that money has started flowing. Uh, Scott Sense made a post saying that they're getting their second half now. Uh, this is good news. It's providing additional capital for a lot of these projects uh, to continue their work. And those grants could possibly turn into equity funding uh, in the next round, I guess. So uh, congrats to all the Octane Fund recipients who are getting their second uh, bunch of money. Um, I'm guessing some of these projects aren't because they're probably not working on uh, what they said they were going to work on. Um, but the ones who are, uh, it's well-deserved and congrats. Yeah, congratulations. And thanks, Scott Sense, for letting us know about that. Alex Willaitis made a post yesterday at SXSW, and he made a, he took a photo with Michael Mara um, from Antra, both, both great guys, both great guys we've had a chance to speak with at length. Uh, he, he was actually at the Web3 house, and it was being hosted by Antra. So, he got to talk to other people who were interested in learning about Entra and learning about Web3. He said he got to talk about DAO DAO and the future of DAOs on DSO. So I think that's amazing. He also ran into other DSO users at SXSW, including Marlon, JM2K, Yazin of Chime In, Zero X Rodney, Surret, another OG who's been here since pretty much the beginning, and of course, Tropics who was actually one of the headline DJs at SXSW. Congratulations, Tropics. His music's awesome. Uh, he's, a, he's an OG of DSO. So uh, it was like a DSO party at SXSW, it seems like. Yeah, you know, you can say South by Southwest. I think more people recognize it by South by Southwest than SXSW. But uh, yeah, 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 I, I guess it's just, as, it's just as hard to say SX, 
SW as it is to say South by Southwest. Uh, Alex lives in Austin, so he's right there, uh, which is really convenient. Um, I'm sure that it was some pretty good conversations. A Web3 house, that's interesting. Maybe there should be a, a, a DSO house. Uh, maybe a DSO DAO could create a DSO house, buy a house and, and use it for developers to live together and develop together in this DSO house. Maybe that's an idea for a future DAO DAO DSO DAO. Cool idea. Yeah, so it's great. Um, and Mossified yesterday, he had something he wanted us to talk about. Yeah, so, so there, there's this woman, uh, her name is Vera Rishka, uh, and, and she is trying to fund her jewelry slash art business. Uh, she needs a $4,000 loan. And some members of the community suggested that she perhaps create a DAO once DAO DAO launches. Um, and then Ed Moss replied and said that he, he reached out to her, they're talking, uh, and, and also wanted to kind of use that post to appeal to other users on DISA who might be interested in creating a DAO. So he wanted us to pass on this little uh, public service announcement to the community. Uh, and, and I'll just quote what he said. He said that these, to the DISO community, if there's anyone you know or yourself that is looking to start a DAO to fundraise and build a community around your vision, mission, idea, project, or cause, please reach out to me via DM. So reach out to Mossified via DM if you have an interest in doing that. Uh, I think he's really a great person to talk to, and I'm sure he can give you a lot of pointers and help you out there. Yeah, that's a great idea. Uh, Ty Fisher yesterday held a Google Hangout. We talked about this a little bit yesterday. It was mostly for developers, but there are other people there as well. Brian and I didn't have a chance to make it there. Uh, we didn't attend, but we have spoken to several developers who did attend, and they all thought it was a great meetup, great, great hangout, a lot of great information. They said it was very professional. I'll briefly read what Hunter Paulson, H. Paulson said, because H. Paulson is usually very critical of stuff that takes place on DSO. So him saying this, is, I think, is a really good sign. Uh, he said, one word after today's dev hangout. Wow. That call was such a great dialogue. Everyone kept it super tech focused, no emotional BS. Feedback was really well received, no excuses, et cetera. Just an open, honest, respectful, and understanding conversation between our community engineers and Ty. That was easily the most productive interaction I've had with a foundation employee thus far. Love to see it. So congratulations, uh, Ty Fisher. I think what you're doing is awesome. I think you are an asset to the community, especially to the dev community. And hopefully you have these again in the future, maybe on, on a DSO native, DSO native uh, hangout, such as Entra or Chime In. Yeah, and, and I'm glad Hunter is still taking part in these things. Uh, he's a really smart guy, a uh, really young guy, really smart guy. Because he's uh, an Eagles he fan. What's that? Plus Eagles he's an fan Eagles too. Fan. Right. Uh, over Clout yesterday, they announced that they're going to support live streams. So you're going to be able to go live on DSO, on Overclout, and these videos are going to be recorded and then stored on the DSO blockchain with a permalink back to them so you can access them. Uh, it's going to be available in beta, which launches this week. Now, they say they're launching beta this week. Isn't today and tomorrow the end of the week? So I, does that mean it's coming today or tomorrow? I don't know. I, I, I kept hearing the end of the month. Well, uh, well so beta is this week, but then they said before the end of March, they hope yeah. to add the ability to stream, live stream, to live stream, to take those live streams and also send them to YouTube, Twitch, and other streaming services. Yeah. And, and they said, notes actually say the ability to rest room uh, on YouTube, which would be weird, but uh, it's live stream. Yeah. I don't think YouTube has a restroom. But early access is going to be granted to those who spend at least 0.5 DSO. So if you spend 0.5 DSO to buy the overclout coin, you're going to get early access. Now, it seems like this is coming this week, according to what they're saying. Uh, to me, this week means either today or tomorrow. We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, and, and the overclout, uh, it's one of the nodes that I'm most excited about. I think there's going to be a lot of really cool features. And I think it could really appeal to some people outside of DSO as well, because there's a lot of things that 
are reminiscent of past Web2 properties in, on social. Yeah, so what were the top hashtags in the last 24 hours? Yeah, so uh, DSO was number one, crypto number two, overclout number three, NFT four, and music number five. Yeah, nothing really too new or surprising there. Uh, Overcloud's up there again, which is awesome. Uh, like I said, Overcloud's launching this week, supposedly, which means probably today or tomorrow. Uh, who yeah, are the top then, earners? Yeah, the top earners the last 24 hours, things are down a little bit uh, from yesterday. Uh, but $7,107 in total were earned by a total of 924 DSO users. So yesterday, I think it was about 1,015 or so. So that's, that's down to a decent amount from yesterday. Uh, the end of the week usually is a little bit slower. Um, 12 creators earned at least one DSO, which is about, about average over the last couple of weeks. So that's remaining decent. Um, Dow Dow earned $4,642, uh, followed by Scott Sense, Seals, Clout Cox, Kitty 4D, Clout Punk, La Big Mac, Unicat, all clothing brand, and finally Beer Buds. So congrats to those 10 people who made today's top 10. Yeah, congratulations. There's some new names in there, which I think are, is awesome. Uh, so there's two community events today. 11 a.m. Eastern Time on Clubhouse is a DSO Week in Review. Uh, again, definitely go there. Brian's going to be giving his Week in Review at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. It's going to be with DSO Chats, Miss Katie Ann, Michelle Lord, French Connector, Wildography, GDS, Rhubarb, Conchi, Slava, Alendez, Clout Women Unite, and many others. It's, a, it's always a party in the Week in the Review room. Uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, there is a minting party on Twitter Spaces for Extinct at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, Extinct is minting some NFTs, and it's going to be on Twitter Spaces. I think that's all the news we have for today, this Friday, March 18th. And everybody have a great weekend, and we will talk to you tomorrow.